Welcome to the back 40 feet um, and this is my experiment of sprouting some vegetables that shouldn't have sprouted. So these are onions. Um, I had bought a bag of onions and not a week later they had all sprouted. So instead of throwing them in my compost, um, I saw on the line that you can strip down to just the sprouts, put them in water and I have here surrounded like glass marbles to keep the roots off the ground. Um, to see if this is something that might be able to sprout more onions instead of losing the whole batch. Um, similarly, I also had some shallots uh, that also did the same thing, so I'm trying a bunch of those. And then lastly, I have celery. So I had two heads of celery, and I don't really use that much celery, so I thought that I was probably going to end up um, losing the whole batch. So I chopped a bunch up and blanched it to freeze. And then here I put it in the water and you can already see it's starting to sprout. So what I've read is that after about a week or two, I should have roots and I should be able to just put it right in the ground and have some celery instead of having to work from celery seed, which is a 10 to 12 week process. Um, so I'll keep you posted in a few days. So it's a week later and I'm doing a check on our windowsill garden here and you can see that the celery is looking like celery and coming along well. Um, on the onions, if you look in there, there are some roots on the onions. One of the bulbs isn't looking so good, but the rest of them are. So we'll get those into the ground this weekend. And then looking at my shallots, you can really see the roots in there and they're coming along really well. So we'll get them planted. Um, and then the latest addition is an avocado seed um, that we put toothpicks in to keep it in the water but not bobbing up and down. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, but it could take a few weeks to get some uh, roots going with the avocado. So checking on the progress of my celery, you can see that this is definitely looking like celery. I got some nice roots in there. Uh, so as soon as uh, we're past a risk of frost, I'll get that outside. And I've started a few more onions um, that have sprouted and we'll add that to the dirt as well. So the celery on the window is looking fantastic. So today we're going to get this guy planted. So even just picking them up, you can see that there's some nice healthy roots there and I have a uh, um, pot of dirt that we're going to get that into today. So there we have it. It's in its own little um, pot of dirt and I'm going to put this guy out on my sun porch um, which in the daytime it usually gets to you know 60 to 70 degrees sometimes a little warmer but at night it can drop down to about 40 um, to 50. I do have tropicals out there so I don't let it get below freezing but this way I can let the celery get used to a colder climate. Um, celery is finicky. It likes to be warm for a long period of time. It takes a long time to sprout and this is why I'm basically using celery that somebody's already harvested for me to make some more celery. So um, I'm going to get that guy out on the porch and maybe in a couple weeks uh, get that guy out into the garden.